Hello students, welcome to the unit Nation and Diversity. Now we are going to discuss a poem from this unit Nation and Diversity. And the title of the poem is A Plea for India. So let us first understand what is the meaning of this title and then we will be proceeding to the content of the poem. So here, plea, the literal meaning of the word plea is request. So this poem is a form of request made by the poet for a better India for a healthier India, for a wealthier India. So let us see what is the content of this poem and try to understand it. So the opening lines of the poem says, We Indians are proud to be a strong nation. We Indians are proud to be a strong nation. Our roots, we declare, cannot be shaken. Then why these fights which leave us in poor plight? So dear students, this is the first stanza of the poem. And the opening lines of the poem said, We Indians are proud to be a strong nation. So here, the poet doesn't take the privilege to request a loan by using a personal pronoun. But here, he is referring to all the Indians. He is writing this poem on behalf of all the Indians. Okay, so let us see what the content of the poem all about is. Okay, we Indians are proud to be a strong nation. Our roots, we declare, cannot be shaken. So, the poet so confidently says that our roots cannot be shaken. We are really proud of this strong nation. We are really proud citizens of this strong nation. Then, why these fights? When we all are the roots of the same tree, why do we fight? Why we are left in a poor condition? Why is our situation poor? before the entire other world. Why is this so? So this is, this stance, opening stance has put a question mark in front of us that when we all together stand as a nation, then why are these issues resulting out? Why do we fight for every small resource? That is the question which is posed by the poet in stance 1. Let us proceed to get its answer. Irrespective of our region, forget the caste, Irrespective of our region, forget the caste which makes us lose our charm. Let's ignore the selfish call of the region and listen for once to the call of the nation. So here the poet points out that irrespective of our region, that I'm a Gujarati, I'm a Bengali, I'm a Kannad, I'm a Tamil, I'm a Punjabi, I'm a Nagi. Okay, so in this manner rather than having groupisms, or based on the regions, we should forget all our caste. I know it makes us lose our charm. Okay, it, it, it is really, you know, something which is really very difficult to do. But once we ignore the selfishness of our region and if we pay attention to the call of our nation, the day is not far where India would be on the top. In each and every aspect, not only its population or its size, but in each and every aspect, India would be the nation or the leading nation. So this is what the author or the poet is giving us his suggestion that don't be selfish or confined only to your region or religion. Just ignore your caste, your religion, your region and then pay your attention only to the call of the nation together as Indians. And then we may see some mesmerizing changes in our nation. Let us see what more the poet would add to the next stance. The third stance says that why do we spend our time bickering when so many tasks need finishing? Don't we have better things to do than indulge in? Don't we have better things to do than indulge in creating problems anew? So here in third stance, poet beautifully interrogates or adds two questions for us to think about. The first question asked by the poet is, why do we spend our time bickering? Here the word bickering is referred to the unusual talks on irrelevant matters. So here the poet says, why are we wasting time on useless discussions? Don't we have any other important work to be finished? Why are we wasting time in unusual debates? And the second question, what the poet posing, uh, the poet is posing to us is, don't we have better things to do than indulge in creating problems anew? Rather than just beating around the bush of one issue, don't we have any other uh, work? Can't we think about some innovative manner? Why are we just trying to 
क्रिटिसाइज द थिंग्स विच आर ऑलरेडी डन वेन वी आर हेल्पलेस टू चेंज द थिंग्स विच आर ऑलरेडी डन can't we make efforts or take initiative to do something new so this is how beautifully poet has posed two question for each and every citizen who is involved in unusual talks and creates different or new kinds of problems for himself or herself and rather for the entire nation now let us see how the poet would answer or give us the solution to come out of these kind of problems the fourth stanza says is all this violence needed with the people being cheated who will return this only son whom she loves a ton so here the poet again asks two more questions for us to think the poet asks that is always violence needed with the people being cheated do you know why the poet has included these lines if you all are aware there are so many you know uh, bomb blasts and there are so many ill events planned by a group of people just to create a disturbance in the country and to see to it that all their demands are accepted so when these things are done there are so many innocent people only for the sake of you know feeding their families they get involved into such practices so is it fair that we cheat people saying that your family will be taken care due care will be taken to you by your uh, towards your family but you have to do this for us is it fair if we cheat the people like this and once the disaster is been done who will get that son who has already you know vanished in that particular trivial incident okay who will that okay fine financially maybe that family will be taken due care but will the mother get her son back no so why are these losses to be bared by the mothers of our nation this is how the poet is you know posing the question in the poem let us move to the next stanzas and understand what is the intention of the poet and what he expects from the indian citizens who will bring back his brother whose ashes he is still together who will bring back his brother whose ashes he is still to gather where has all the love gone which resided in the heart of all so here the poet is asking a mother has lost his son and a brother also has lost his brother now who is remain who else has to do this kind of sacrifice for a wrong outcome whose more ashes are left out together is it the thing which has has to continue for generations together no so here the poet is questioning us where has that love gone which used to reside in the hearts of the people why each and every person has become so selfish in our nation today this is what the poet is questioning to us and it is high time for each and every citizen of the country to think let us proceed to the next stanzas to understand the poem in a clear manner moving ahead to six stanza the opening lines of the six stanza says there is no reason to be proud and be on high cloud so here the poet says that there is no reason to be cloud and be on high cloud we have to go long way we have to think seriously and we if we don't then else we end up miserably so in six stanzas the poet says that there is no reason to feel proud for all these things it is really time for us to think seriously and if we take everything at ease if we take everything that it doesn't matter to me it's not the matter related to mine okay so i will not be paying attention to it okay it is it is the matter of somebody else and if each and every citizen of the nation will start feeling in the same manner then definitely the day will not be far where we all will have to end up in a miserable condition okay so this is how the or the poet is trying to you know give a hint to us that we all need to take the issues seriously and ponder over it and think over the issues and act and react in the respective manner okay let us see the next stanza then let our minds throw out the rot and devote our time pious devote our time to pious thoughts let us control the riots which leave us with no choice but to hang our heads 
in shame and say we have miserably failed so here the poet says that if we have to come out of these kinds of situation where we would be you know feeling ashamed by ending up miserably so what is the solution for this so here in stanza 7 the poet is highlighting the solution that if you really wants to do something good for your nation if you don't want to see yourself and your nation in miserable condition that immediately we have to throw all the rotten things about the previous things about the previous time should be thrown out of our mind we should not you know catch hold of the previous incidents or the previous things and keep grumbling on the same it is very high time for us and we have to throw everything out of our mind which is not usual which is not useful which is not important and then the with the mind the cool mindset we need to ensure that we are going to think in a pious manner or we are going to have pious thoughts in our mind pious here indicates peaceful so we will be having peaceful thoughts in our mind we will try to control the riots rather than you know uh, just holding the you know uh, holding the collars of each other and questioning upon their own religions and existence it's better that we all sit together peacefully and discuss about the issue rather than having the riots in the country if we continue having riots and internal disturbance in our own country and we are we the people of india are not united then it would really give a chance to the outsiders to the foreigners to become the masters of our nation which we should learn already from the times immemorial of our own indian history so if we would have been united together a long time before we would have got freedom but that was missing and then we have to get freedom in the year 1947 and again we should not be taking that path back and you know inviting a kind of mastery of other nations over our country so to avoid all this we need to control ourselves we need to think you know in a peaceful manner and we have to discuss the issues with peace with non violence and if we fail to do that it means we are failed and we at some or the other point have to stand with our heads hung with shame and saying up that we have failed miserably so my dear students you people are the upcoming generation of the nation and you should have that now it is it's really true that the patience level of each and every person is going down so how can you you know initiate the uh, you know patience level in yourself just you talk to your friend and you are disagreeing with him or her in some of the other statement you start fighting but that's not the solution right all this fighting riots okay all these are temporary solutions so we are much habituated to have temporary solutions in our life but as they are just temporary they will give us a happiness for a day or two we should not for temporary solutions but rather we should aim for permanent solutions and let us see how the poet concludes the poem giving us a bit of information or a bit of idea about the solutions so the eighth stanza begins saying that we have the power to win so why not end this din let us unite and fight against let us unite and fight against those who incite let us not be misled so here the poet says why are we fighting over these issues we all have the power to win so let us end this confusion let us end this din let us end this wrong practices let us unite together and fight against those people who tries to cheat us who tries to betray us who tries to mislead us by giving wrong suggestions or wrong ideas and then by those who want to see us dead so there are people in this world who just want to see us dead so we should not be following the guidelines of such people okay but rather we should all be a strong united nation and all we need is just a bit of dedication i hope you all have understood the lesson now the poet started you know the poem by asking several questions to us the poet also gave us some insight like what would be the 
situation if we you know take everything in a very lenient manner and the poet also suggested us strongly by saying just one thing that remove all the negative thoughts from your mind only think whenever you face any sort of problem sit peacefully and think over that don't react immediately in a wild or vulgar manner with any problem don't deal impatiently upon all we all should stand or we all stand as a strong nation the only thing what we are lacking is dedication so this dedication towards our country will be the you know strongest weapon which we all will possess hoping that you all will also be the responsible citizens of your nation thank you one thank you all